Hi, I'm Caitlin Becker with Who Say, and we are heading back to the ER at Angels Memorial in the new season of Code Black. Let's take a look. You know, a lot of different people come here every day, hundreds, on the worst day of their lives, and they all have one thing in common. They need another human being to care for them. Joining me now is Louis Guzman, nurse mama. That's it. Okay, mama's back. Yes, she is. Mama's I mean, back yes, in the air. Yes, she, she is. is. My Tell bad. me about season two. Uh, well, season two, we have brought on some new residents, new young fresh residents. Fresh blood. That's it, fresh in blood. ER. We love that. We also have brought on Mr. Roblo and his medical expertise. Um, we have gone from eight writers to 12 writers. And um, I got to say, the material this year has been really, really incredible. I'm really proud of it. I mean, you probably know this better than anyone since if you look at Luis Guzman's IMDb page, you are the busiest man ever. Season two of a show, I feel like there's always a lot of pressure on season two because you come out of season one, it's new, everyone's sort of getting used to the characters, and then in season two, you really have to sort of up your game. And I mean, it sounds like that's exactly what's happening. Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, because it's like, you know, okay, you got through the first season, and I, I, I did pose this question, so what do you got, guys? And so it's really important. And again, I, 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 I do have that firm belief that they put a great team of writers together. The stories, you know, are just so much greater. Um, not that last year wasn't great, because last year was phenomenal. It got a second season, of course. But, um, you know, again, having these new cast members and we have great guest stars on the show. Oh, yeah. You guys are, the season one, you had a bunch of great, great guest stars. Oh, yeah. I love me some Sherry Appleby, who was a guest star in one of the episodes. Who do we can, who can we expect this year? Eric Roberts. So in addition to the guest stars, you, your core cast is amazing. I mean, you have clearly incredible. The amazing Marsha Gay Harden, adding Rob Lowe. Yeah. How is the beautiful Rob Lowe? You know, it's, it's pretty amazing because Rob Lowe fit right in really smoothly and stuff. Um, you know, because his, his character is so well defined. Um, he's a medical military doctor. Which is why he has that haircut. Right. And so uh, it's not like, you know, a bird fell out of the sky and here he is. You know, I mean, he he is a, a military doctor out in the field of combat, and he comes in. Like I said, he fits in really, really nicely to the whole storyline. What I love about Code Black is that I have relatives who work in the medical in industry, nurses and doctors, I feel like it really does mimic a lot of what a real ER is like um, in the work dynamics. I mean, there's so much trauma and so much drama, but your character really kind of keeps the train running on the track when it comes to the residents. You sort of see all and handle all. And I think with a lot of nurses, that's kind of the case. Well, um, I, I, got, I got to say, I have been approached by many nurses who wish they had a mama in their hospital or in their trauma center. You know, my, my whole thing about this is I really want to honor the nursehood as it should be. And I feel that I do accomplish that. Um, uh, nurses are the ones that run the show. My cousin's a, a nurse, and it's tough. It's a tough job. Yeah. And I think we see Mama, who has to not only deal with the, you know, the people that are coming in injured, but the stress of the staff and sort of keeping, especially for sure residents, sort of yeah. on the straight and narrow and well, what was in their minds. Well, I tell you what, I find that, um, and this is true, it's nurses. Um, especially senior nurses, they are the true teachers in, in the hospital. Because when you get a resident, they do show up knowing a lot of the medical stuff because it's part of their education, it's part of their training. But it's, it's those nurses that really question those residents and say, so why would you do this and not that? And it's not to belittle those young residents, but you know, nurses are teachers. And so part of the teaching process is asking those questions to a resident. And because those nurses have been there day in, day out. You know, my, in my case, my nurse had been there 22, 23 years. 
So I know all the in and outs of what goes on medically. So I would know, I would know if somebody comes in and they're in so much pain. I already know what I'm going to give them, even though that doctor might say I need, I need, you know, five milligrams of morphine or something like that. And it's like I'm already on it because you, you just know what to do. You know, somebody comes in with a seizure, you know that the medication you're giving them is Ativan. You know, you know that if their blood pressure is 70 over, uh, it would be like 70 over 34, that's bad. That's did, bad. Did you go to nursing school for this role? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Well, we do get medical training. Uh, I do have enough hours of medical training in the state of California to be certified EMT. <laughs> you got a good pulse. You got to be fine. So I do have enough medical hours of training. I've been to real trauma centers. Um, I've seen uh, that medical staff and the wonders that they do on saving people's lives. And that's the attitude that I bring to our show. That's incredible incredible that you have that many hours in medical training. I mean, is that one of the, um, you don't want to say perks because it's a little weird, but one of the added benefits of doing what you do as an actor that you really do get to immerse yourself and almost live these other lives. Uh, yeah. I mean, especially on this show, this show is not about just learning your marks and, and I mean, learning your lines and hitting your marks. This is like learning how to, uh, uh, pass along instruments to your doctors, how to push medicine, how to comfort that patient that's in pain, how to comfort that mother, that husband, that boyfriend, that girlfriend that is fearful that they might lose their loved ones. You know, it's, it's, it's the full deal. And so uh, you're right. I do immerse myself in this because I want to. You know, um, it's interesting. I feel that when I go to work, I'm not going onto a TV set, but I'm actually going into a hospital to do my shift. And I love the people that I work with, you know? Uh, I love my patients, you know? And then on the flip side, I love my writers, I love my crew, you know? So it's, it's, it's a great place to work. Um, and we deal with a lot of emotional stuff, you know? But I, I kind of, jump in and out of it because I can and um, uh, like I said for me it's an honor to again be representing the nursehood on what I say is such a really true to life fabulous show you know it's incredible and I joked about this earlier that if you look at your IMDb page you are one of the busiest actors in Hollywood you are working all the time how do you turn off um, all of the sort of emotion and even just the medical lingo that you're, you're working with Code Black to jump to another project, to jump back. Um, it's that old adage, you know, you don't take it home with you. You know, you leave it there. I can do that. I can do that only because I've done so many things and you create that ability to be able to just turn off that switch, you know. I mean, look, even on, on our show, we might be about to open somebody's chest and take out their heart and massage it and, it, and it's cut. And it's like, hey man, I'm really sorry I couldn't make it to your barbecue this weekend. But let me know what the next one is because I do a great marinated barbecue, barbecue chicken and rolling. And it's a, okay, guys, let's go. Boom. And so it's, it's I'm, I'm, I just have that ability, you know. And it's a gift. Yeah, it's, it's totally a gift. But you know what, I think um, I must pay tribute to my years before I became an actor, I was a social worker. And so I was in the business of really caring about people. Um, I adopted four children, caring about my own family, my own humanity. And you know, you get to do a show like this and it's like, oh wow, I get to employ all those things, you know? So. And thank you for saying that it absolutely is a gift. And, um, but again, you know, I have great writers that give me that material, that give me those situations to be able to just, you know, 
let that ooze out of me. It seems also that you 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 feel like you bring um, that sort of caring aspect off camera to your crew members, to your co-stars. We actually interviewed Finesse, Finesse Mitchell not too long ago, Rodies, another show that Lee is on, and he said that you're one of his favorite people on set. He just like loves to go to work and work with you. It how important is that off camera dynamic to having a successful show? Well, um, it just shows that you're real, you know, and that you are not a selfish person and it's not all about you. And, you know, when you work around people, I mean, especially me, I, I just love being around people. You know, uh, I love feeding off people's energy. They love feeding off mine. It's a two way street, you know. Um, I, I, think, I think the importance of having this career that I have is number one, just, just, just appreciating who I am, appreciating my humanity, my love toward other people, because it comes back, you know. Um, it's, I, I'm, I'm, in a great, I'm in a great place of, you know, what goes around comes around and it comes back really in great ways to me. Because again, it's like you get what you give. And if you give, you know, your awesomeness, your love, you know, and all these great virtues that we have, all those things are going to come back to you that way. Certainly as evidenced by all of the amazing projects that you have worked on. And you've done a lot of film and you've done a lot of television in this, the golden age of television. Does it seem like the industry has changed over the past you know, 10, 15 years with regards to how television is treated and the abilities that you have as an actor to jump into these really interesting and like meaty roles that might have otherwise been reserved for film? Um, I think that, that so much of our world of entertainment has been expanded because now you have, you know, uh, online streaming and you have so many much more cable shows. So you have different levels of quality. I think when it comes to network TV, especially for our show, Cold Black, what has happened is we, as a show, have the challenge of crossing that line and not being censored because, oh, you can't show this and you can't show that. And it's like, it's reality. You know, you can't censor reality. Um, not in this aspect, not in this medical world. And I feel that we have done that. And I think that's really important, you know, because I didn't want to do a soap opera medical show. I wanted to do uh, a, a show that really shows the true life of how people uh, treat people who are in need, you know, who are seconds away from being saved or dying. And I think it, it was important for this show to do that. And I feel it has done that and it continues to do that. And, you know, it's like, the, quote unquote, like pushing the envelope, you know crossing the line, you know, and I think it's a great challenge to take on and I, I feel that we at Cold Black have done that, so. It's tense, it's dramatic, it feels like real life and it's back for a second season. It's back. Wednesdays on CBS. Thank you so much for joining us oh, today. thank you. I appreciate it. His hands are so warm. Mine are like so freezing that? right now. There's so, you said no. I had a good pulse. But don't let go, apparently. don't let go. Thanks for joining I us, I want to check your vitals. <laughs> Peace.